Hey guys, what's going on? Jeff here from Films at Home. And it's been a little slow for 4K releases lately. So what I have today for you is some new pickups. We've got some stuff from Mill Creek uh, and a few other studios as well as some personal pickups that I made. So uh, just another look into my collection, some new releases you may wanna take a look at grabbing and uh, basically just a quick little insight into what I grabbed this week. So let's just jump right into it with uh, some of the Mill Creek stuff. So first movie I got from Mill Creek was uh, Duplicity, Julia Roberts, Clive Owen, uh, it's a spy movie. I actually got this at the Dollar Tree probably two years ago, and so Mill Creek is actually re-releasing it, which makes me think the old Blu-ray might be out of print. Either way, not a highly requested title, but they're only charging about seven or eight dollars for this, so that's kind of cool. Um, then I got two pretty sweet movies from Andy Sedaris. Uh, these are like the most 80s things I've ever seen. I, I actually hope they're 80s now that I'm saying it. I think they're actually early 90s. Um, I've got Guns and I've got Do or Die. Um, you'll notice Mr. Miyagi here, Pat Morita. They also both star Eric Estrada. He gets a cover shot here and a sweet glamour shot on the back of him just lighting somebody up. When it comes to guns, bigger is better. Um, and then Eric Estrada is also in this movie. So... Both these movies uh, look like they're pretty similar, like early 90s, shoot 'em up. Uh, I got bikinis all over the back, explosions, beach scenes. Uh, just looks like your typical early 90s action movie. Then I also grabbed I Spy. This is from Mill Creek as well. Uh, Owen Wilson and Eddie Murphy basically team up um, as, as these secret agents. This is actually the first time this is on Blu-ray, I believe. I looked it up and I couldn't find any other listings except for the Mill Creek one. So that's what's kind of cool about Mill Creek is they'll take like, you know, they're not taking like A-list movies, but they'll take some older comedies like this uh, and they'll give it a nice Blu-ray release and, you know, prevent it from being out of print, which is always cool. Uh, and then Mill Creek, they've been doing these for a while, but I got these retro VHS slip covers. This one is True Believer, uh, James Woods, Robert Downey Jr. It's a courtroom drama. Uh, James Woods is the lawyer. Uh, Robert Downey Jr. is like his junior associate. They try to open up an old murder case uh, involving a, a prisoner who's serving life in prison uh, for what they think is, is not a murder he committed. And so it's a really interesting uh, courtroom drama if you're into that sort of stuff. If you're into true crime, stuff like making a murderer, um, you know, kind of like all those cases they've been overturning or trying to overturn, uh, this, this would speak to you, I think. And the slipcover is always really cool. I love these VHS uh, retro slip covers. They're really cool. Uh, Mill Creek does a great job. And this is another one that, you know, wasn't on Blu-ray as far as I could tell. I searched for it, didn't find it. Uh, and so Mill Creek was able to put this out on Blu-ray, which is really cool. So props to them for continuing physical media and continuing to promote older B-list, C-list, maybe forgotten movies uh, and still getting them in high definition formats. Now I've got a personal pickup that I just grabbed off of eBay for I think I paid like $3 including shipping, and that is Back in Time. I've been seeing this pop up on Instagram a lot lately. I don't know, maybe it's like a dollar store title that I just didn't know about, or maybe people have just discovered it, but it's a documentary from like 2015, I wanna say, but it's all about Back to the Future. So 2015, I wanna say it was the 30th anniversary of Back to the Future, maybe 25th, I've gotta think trying to do the math in my head 1985 30 years yeah I think it was the 30th anniversary uh, and these filmmakers made this documentary about uh, kind of the impact that the Back to the Future movies had on our culture they interview lots of the cast members Michael J Fox um, they interview Robert Zemeckis um, uh, James Tolkien Christopher Lloyd uh, even Steven Spielberg is uh, interviewed here so it's really cool lots of great interviews Pretty decent bonus features as well, but a really cool documentary if you're into movies and you like Back to the Future. Um, I would recommend this one. I saw it on a streaming service before I bought it on Blu-ray, but I had to add it in my collection for, you know, for $3, that's a no-brainer. So I was able to pick that up off of eBay. And then I got a couple more titles in uh, just today that are very interesting. Uh, first one is from a company called Cult Epics. So they make sort of... Um, the cult movies obviously but a lot of horror a lot of gore a lot of kind of like older um kind of trashy movies i, I don't know really how to describe them um they do some like porn stuff and they they um 
have remastered some old like 70s exploitation movies, things like that. But, you know, typically not really my wheelhouse, but every now and then they have a release that I jump on. And this was one I definitely wanted. Uh, it's called Manson Family Movies. Uh, what this is, it's a recreation of the daily lives of Marilyn, uh, oh my God, Marilyn Manson, of Charles Manson and his cult. Um, they filmed it at the actual locations where the family lived. They filmed it where the family killed, where they murdered people. Um, and they have all these actors basically playing the Manson family to great effect. It's a two disc set. Um, it was filmed at the Spawn Ranch. If you've seen Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, you know that. They filmed it at the Tate House, the LaBianca La House, Haight Ashbury. Uh, there's footage of Jay Sebring's, um, uh, his estate, Benedict's Canyon, Lino LaBianca's, La uh, like all kinds of interesting stuff if you're into serial killers. As weird as that sounds, I am kind of interested in serial killers and the psychology behind it and you know I'm not just in it for like oh the gore I don't like idolize these people they're scumbags but they're very interesting from a psychological standpoint I love shows like Mind Hunter the Zodiac is one of my favorite movies uh, Silence of the Lambs stuff like that I love and so this is a no-brainer for me to pick this up um, it does have an interview with Charles Manson on here which is 30 minutes long that's pretty cool and it does have actual home movies from Sharon Tate According to the to the back here, they're silent, so I assume they're originals. There's 60 minutes of those, um, and it's actually Charles Manson's last interview that's on this disc. So, if you're interested in you know serial killers or specifically you know the 60s, the Manson cult, uh, maybe you saw Once Upon a Time in Hollywood and became interested in that uh, kind of cult vibe they had going there, and all the murders and, and the people that were involved, Tex and. Charles Manson and all the different girls, the Manson girls, uh, you know, Sharon Tate. If you're interested in all that stuff, um, this is great timing considering that Once Upon a Time in Hollywood just came out, focuses on many of these same characters and parts, and, uh, you know, just a really interesting two disc set that I'm happy to have. It is just a DVD, uh, but again, the quality of this is not really why I'm watching it, it's more for the interest in the topic. I also got a movie in here from uh, Warner Brothers. I shouldn't say a movie, it's a TV show and it is the alienist now continuing with the serial killer theme this basically follows uh daniel Bruhl uh in the middle here who you know from tons of movies it has luke evans from uh girl on a train and dakota fanning and it's a turn of the century murder mystery um you know it's all about um this kind of alienist this this new field of treating mental pathologies sort of like mindhunter they're kind of just getting into the psychology here um, but there's a ritualistic murderer killing young boys, and uh, it's based on a, a novel by Caleb Carr. So if you've seen that, you'll probably want to check this out. Uh, again, just a DVD for this one, sort of disappointing, but it is the whole um, series. I don't know much about it. I think it was just a limited series. Checking the back. Yeah, it was nominated for Emmys for Outstanding Limited Series. So there's a ton of great people attached to this. The cast is great. The topic is really cool. And so even though it's a DVD, uh, this was on TNT. But I'll probably check it out because it's a really interesting topic. I love this true crime murder stuff. And it's about the serial killer psychology. So it's perfectly, it's right up my alley. And so that's it. Those are my pickups for, uh, for this week. Hopefully I have some more stuff coming. Stay tuned for John Wick 3 and 4K. That is a review that I cannot wait to check out as well as some other great titles that are coming out in september and october stuff like toy story 2 spider-man far from home is coming out october 1st uh the wizard of oz comes out in october on 4k all kinds of good stuff that's coming uh so make sure you subscribe turn on your notifications that way you won't miss any of these new reviews i do them as they come in so they're a little sporadic i apologize for that um, but hopefully you like the video today Gave you a little idea and maybe some new titles, some obscure stuff you haven't heard of before, um, which is what I'm all about, adding to the collection and, and building up with, you know, some rarer titles, not just your everyday Marvel, Disney stuff, but some really cool stuff that you probably wouldn't have heard of, but you can support, uh, you know, filmmakers and, and directors with your purchase. So always love to show that stuff off. Thanks again to Mill Creek for sending me a bunch of new stuff. They've been pumping out the Blu-rays lately. Uh, really cool box sets. And like I said, new slip covers, steel books, like the Mothra steel book I featured in an earlier video. They've been killing it. They're probably one of the best independent um, Blu-ray studios out there right now. And uh, just a thank you to you all for watching. Hopefully you subscribe. 
Check out all my links down in the description to follow me on Instagram. Check out a few of my Amazon items where you can purchase my home theater seating or shelving and all that good stuff. And I'll talk to you guys soon. I'll be back with another video before you know it.